So the year 2022 is coming up and you wanna start making beats. The only problem is you probably have no idea where to start, what DAW to use, or any of that stuff. Or most importantly, you're probably worried about you're not gonna make good music. Or you probably already started making beats, but your beats don't sound that good, so you wanna learn how to make better beats. Well, I'm gonna go over a few tips on some things that can help you out along the way in this new year. Bless those keys, the RMC. This video is mainly for Logic Pro users, and if you don't know what that means, all that means is that I'm using that DAW, that Digital Audio Working Station. And just to tell you right off the back, it does not matter what program or software you use, you're gonna get the same results if you know what you're doing. Okay, so right off the back, once you open up Logic, you're always gonna go to File, click on logic and then go to file new and that's how you open up a new project file right now I already have one open so that's why it's telling me to close this but I'm just do it for your sake I'm gonna say close and don't save because we have nothing on there and this is what it's gonna look like right off the back so you're gonna go to software instrument audio drummer external MIDI guitar bass if you don't have anything connected like a if you don't have any instrument connected externally like you know something with sounds you're just always gonna go with software instrument and that's gonna be the first instrument that pops out on logic once you open the DAW. so right here I'm just gonna go with piano v2 because that's my main set right here and put create and you always want to put it on output one and two so it can be more of a stereo channel so it can be a stereo channel and not a mono channel this is kind of necessary this area right here where it says sounds um, but I usually don't use that because it just takes up space So you could just click this button up here and remove that. Okay, so these are your tracking channels These two right here this right here right here on the right. It's always gonna be on the right this right here is your main Channel so this is gonna control the volume to everything you're doing and this right here is your instrument channel So for instance, I opened up one instrument and it's gonna be on the left side and this is where it goes. I have the piano V2 in order to look at what the VST looks like. And if you don't know what VST means, it means virtual instrument. It just means like a digital instrument. Logic has so many. If you just go to Alchemy, you can choose so many different plugins. I mean, so many different instruments from here. These are all free and that come with Logic. So now Logic is really known for their stock internal instruments already. So that's actually a big plus if you just download Logic and then just start using any of these sounds. To me that they sound pretty good a lot of these sounds you know they have different stuff that you can already start making some tracks with just you know just to inform you a little bit about that so right here is your control volume right here this is where you control your instruments this is your audio effects so this is if you want to add some effects to one of your sounds that you're using so let's say you want to play a sound um, right here in logic and you you play a sound and it sounds kind of dry right here is the audio effects where you can go and just choose anything you want to add any effects like a reverb or a delay um, or if you want to eq the sound a different way that you don't that you want it to sound this button right here is a pan button so this what this does it just goes it just pans whatever you're using from left to right so if I'm using an instrument and if I want to pan it, let's just say for instance, I mean, I want it on to come out on the left speaker and not on the right speaker, then you would just pan this left and then it would just do that. And the last thing, settings. Settings right here. This actually, I use this a lot, the setting to save any channel strip settings as is. So say for instance, I like this sound that I'm using right now and it's crystal sounds and it sounds really good. Right, so I'm like, oh, I like that sound. So I go to settings and I already added some effects. I already added my EQ. I did all this stuff ready. So I wanna use that sound again with all the sounds and the effects I use. I could just make a preset right here and go to save channel strip setting as. And then next time I can just go ahead and just click on the setting and I have a lot of things saved right here already as you can see my go-to's and I could just click on it right here so you can do a lot of stuff here you could also remove all empty insert slots you can remove all the effect plugins all the plugins all, all the effect plugins that you use for that setting it's important that you use that setting button so it'll save you time next time you want to keep using that sound for other tracks that you're making this right here is just an EQ button they just have that there because EQing is what most producers do so it just have it in handy like it's kind of a quick eq like bam you just pull it up and you could just start eqing your sounds once you start playing something it's more like of a convenience to have the eq there but you don't need to have that if you want to get rid of that just go to the eq right here and put no plugin and you're all good okay so let's dive right into how to make a melody for this you would actually need if you want to use some of the stock plugins you could just open this slot up right here that looks like a little bit of like a lot of files and then just choose something from here but what I like to do is I like to go to Alchemy right here and then 
And then if you don't know what alchemy is, just go into the instrument slot and then just pick alchemy, stereo, and pick something you want from here. I like to just go with something right here. Let's just go with this one, Luminous Ties. Sounds okay. So let's just make something with that and then I'll show you guys how to start making melodies. There's two different ways you can do this. There's actually more than two different ways, but the easiest ways to do this is getting this brush tool right here and just start drawing stuff into this thing right here. And if you're like, how do I pop this up? Just press the P on your keyboard. You press the P, it just automatically pops up. It's called a piano roll. You can hear the score. You can see the score here too, but that's only if you read music sheets. And the step sequencer, this is a new feature that Logic has and also a smart tempo, but I never use any of those. I just use the piano roll to make melodies. And like I said, you can draw them in. I usually play those in and I'm gonna show you guys how I do it in a little bit, but you can go ahead and start a melody drawing these in. Now keep in mind that you don't have to know any music theory at all, but you can just start clicking stuff away with the brush tool. But it's not gonna sound good, right? So it's, it's good if you know like it's maybe something and if you want to erase some of the stuff you just you know you just click on it again and the eraser comes out you could just hold it and just erase everything and you know you could just play again and I also give away samples every week on my new Patreon page so if you want to sign up with that you can do that as well. So I would normally play a melody like this. You know, something like that. And then just go from there, right? And that's because I have my MIDI keyboard connected. And as soon as you connect this, it automatically just connects to Logic, so you don't have to worry about that. Super simple. Now for any other DAW, I know it can be a little bit more complicated to set up the MIDI, but it's not as hard. Logic just gives you that convenience of just connecting your, your MIDI keyboard and it's already good to go. So after that, you could just hit this plus sign right here and just go ahead and add another track if you want to keep adding stuff on top of this one. So let's just say for instance, I want to, that one, I want to add something else. You could just mess with it and then not hit record until you want to be able to, until you want to record that on top. So and you just keep adding tracks on top of other. You just click here, double click and double click, and you can add as many as you want. If you want to use a drum kit, you just go ahead and put this electronic drum, and you could just start put like adding some drums. Just click on it. Just starting this video, you can actually just get the whole idea and start actually making something now that you got more of an understanding on how to start stuff and where all the controls are and everything like that. And I'm just gonna keep this video right here. I don't wanna make it too long because I'm just not gonna overwhelm you with so much information. If you wanna see part two or another video creating you know, other melodies and stuff like that, just go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe and comment down. I wanna see more videos like this. I usually just do cook up videos, making beats and stuff, but I'm gonna just try to do a little bit more tutorials to help those people that really wanna start making beats and really have no idea how to do it. So I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to stay blessed and stay positive. Till next time, peace.